G'day everyone and welcome to another episode of Bushcraft and Camping Adventures. Today I have some news that's not good, which means by default I have some bad news. So let's roll the intro and let's get to the bad news. Okay, so we all know that at the moment the world is going through some unprecedented times. We've got the coronavirus sweeping the planet and it's changing life as we know it. Now, up until this point, uh, I've been relatively unaffected as far as this channel goes. But unfortunately, I copped an email last night from the National Parks delivering some news that, that wasn't good at all. And that news is that all camping and campgrounds are now locked until further notice. They're banned. I can no longer go camping. I can no longer go to campgrounds. This clearly is going to have a massive impact on the channel. And I'm not even sure what to do. So, the purpose of this video is to give you some updates in that regard. What my plan is actually going to be going forward and how this channel is going to keep functioning while we're all on lockdown and we're needing some bloody content to keep ourselves sane. So, if all campgrounds in the New South Wales National Parks and all camping has been banned. They are opening the tracks for walking, so I can still do day trips conceivably. The roads won't be closed, so I can still get into the areas. Maybe I can still go visit Base Camp Bobby for an hour or two and just do an upgrade, you know, reset up the things. I can probably still do that. But I don't know if you're gonna see me camping out overnight for a while, unless I have a trick up my sleeve. Now, before we get to this potential trick up my sleeve, I need to tell you some contingencies that I already have put in. Now it's New South Wales National Parks that are closed. Never said anything about state forests. So I'm going to be doing some investigating and see if I can still get to state forests. If state forests are still okay, then guess where I can still go? All my major places. So if it's only a national parks thing, then I might be able to get around it. Let's say state forests are also closed. Well then I still have something up my sleeve. We have some property. As you all know, we have the farm. I can go to the farm and film. It's a four hour drive to get to the farm, but I can still do whatever I want on our private property. Addition additionally, my sister has a property that basically backs onto the national park, but is not the national park. It's technically her property. So I can access it from her backyard and go into her property and camp out in the land that is not considered um, public property. It's considered private property. So we still have day trips, we still have the private property of both my sister's house and our farm. So I should still be able to get out there, but it goes without saying that if this is a long-term thing, six months or more, that the locations that I get to visit are going to be limited. Now this will affect my bushcraft channel, obviously, because it's all about the camping and all that kind of thing. But I've also got some ideas about, you know, lockdown kind of camping trips. They're going to be very, very different, maybe complete fails, but I've got a few kooky and funny ideas that if the world does go into lockdown, well, a lot of the world already is, but if, if Australia goes into lockdown, or at the very least my state goes into lockdown, that I still may be able to pump out some content. Now, there's a silver lining here. If you recall on my last trip, it was a beautiful location, creekside, running water, like absolutely gorgeous, one of the best locations I've ever been in. I, knowing that we're all going into lockdown and knowing that what has now happened has happened and that we can't go camping, we can't do camp campgrounds. <sighs> Batteries! So I'm not sure where that cut off. Batteries, man. I'm not sure where that cut off. But basically, I went out on a camping trip recently, beautiful location, and I filmed my absolute head off. I barely rested. I did upwards, I think it was nine videos that I recorded. It wasn't a camping trip, it was more of a bloody Hollywood shoot. I was walking here, I was doing there, I was filming this, I was filming that. I was working so hard, knowing that we may not be able to get out again. And I filmed nine videos. That's almost a month's worth of content, and it was good stuff. And then I got home, and um, if you recall a couple of videos back, I had an issue with my audio cable, and the audio cut out for part of the video. That was because the audio cable was starting to fray. It was faulty. So I bought a new audio cable and used it, but I didn't test it before I went. I just put faith in a brand new cable's gonna work. So when I got back, I had no audio on any of the videos. 
at all. No audio from this camera I'm holding now. Absolutely devastated. Like, you don't understand. It knocked me about for two days. I just couldn't, I couldn't believe I lost that footage. I couldn't believe it. I knew what a negative impact it would have on my channel. But thankfully, I was actually recording with a second camera for a lot of that. So I've managed to eke out one video from those nine that is getting put up today. It'll be in the um, Paranormal Encrypted Adventures channel. But the good thing is that during that shooting of nine videos, I came up with some funny ideas that just kind of happened in the spur of the moment and I just embedded it into the videos. But given that we're going into lockdown, given that the national parks are going into lockdown, I may now be releasing some unusual content. I'll put it in a series that's like the isolation series or the, or the coronavirus series. But it's going to be some odds and ends content that I found really funny filming at the time. And hopefully I still find funny when I film it, when I film it a second time. So there's some ideas coming up for this. I'm getting a bit more mosquitoes, that's why I'm dancing around. So there's some ideas I've got for this channel. It's not going to go away during lockdown. If there's one thing that I can do, I can help by giving you entertainment, right? I know all the creative people in the world that do this kind of thing are taking that stance that we can actually make a bad situation better by entertaining you guys. And that's absolutely my intention. So the channels won't be going anywhere. Paranormal Encrypted Adventures will stay where it is, stay as it is. Bushcraft and Camping Adventures will stay where it is, will stay as it is. The content may be different, the content may be reduced, but the content will be there and I'll be doing my best to get out like I am. I've just gone to a local park just to quickly film something and then duck back home like I'm trying to get this done in half an hour. So it's important that I get this announcement out there. It's important that you guys understand what's happening with the channels and I'm going to have to do a similar video for the Paranormal channel as well. So, to recap, I'm no longer allowed to go camping in national parks in New South Wales. I'll be finding out if that applies also to state forests. I can no longer go campgrounds, but I can do day trips. I can also go camping on our private property. Thankfully, I have two outlets of private property. So there is some things that will still happen. I apologize if the channel is a little bit unusual for a little while, but hell, the whole world is unusual for a little while now, and we've just got to stay safe and stay sane. And I feel like by putting content out, I don't have many subscribers in this world, but those that do enjoy my channel, they might appreciate the fact that I'm still pumping out content. To me, it's about having things that can take your mind off the abnormality of reality right now because reality is very, very weird. Um, as a school teacher, I'm now teaching online. There's no kids in the classroom and we're living through history. We really are literally living through history. Like there's no other way to say it. And the times that we're in now, they'll talk about them in schools in 20 years. And if I'm still teaching then, I'll be able to give firsthand um, um, accounts of what it was like to live through coronavirus. Very, very strange times. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope you understand that I'm going to do my best to stay to stay relevant, to stay, stay entertaining and to keep the content flowing. Hope you guys stay safe and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys. Bye bye. I forgot all my hand signals getting them all confused. Bye.